This episode of New Jersey Living is being recorded in North Bergen, New Jersey. So we are here at Braddock County Park, right behind me, as you can see, uh, this big body of water uh, is Lake Woodcliffe. Uh, so the lake covers 16 acres. It's a pretty sizable lake for the setting that we're in. The park itself is 167 acres. This is an immense park with numerous, numerous uh, tennis courts, volleyball, uh, football, uh, baseball, softball. There's a flash of a quick uh, outline of some of the features of the park. It's just numerous. It's a absolutely gorgeous park. Uh, very scenic. I'm going to pan around just a little bit. You'll be able to see. Uh, obviously, right here, you can see pan back a little bit. Uh, you see canoes here, so there is canoeing uh, during the summer months. And behind me, you see this pavilion, this dining here. All right, you see them behind me, some buildings closer to the waterfront. That The Hudson is in that direction uh, in terms of where we are, how we're situated direction. All right, so this um, is a park that is probably the largest, if not one of the largest, uh, definitely one of the largest, if not the largest, in Hudson County. So, uh, Hudson uh, County stretches from the very bottom tip of the peninsula with Bayonne. And if you see my Bayonne episode, you've seen that Bayonne is noted as kind of that urban slash suburban kind of residential area of the county. We're at the far northern section of Hudson County right now. So, North Bergen is at the northern end and along the western end this is a sizable town it goes all stretches all the way down the west side to the heights of jersey city so it borders with union city of course it's New York. Um, so it's a really sizable town so we're going to take a look at quite a few properties today uh, we're going to have four different destinations since single family Just wanted to start at this scene because this is definitely, uh, again, one of those really, really nice nature-oriented environments where you have recreation, just out for a walk in the park, literally, um, and uh, sizable enough that there are options for everyone. So I'm gonna take a little footage here, uh, walking footage, and then we're gonna take a stop at our first destination. All right, I'll see you there. Welcome to New Jersey Living. My name is Corey Jones, and I'm a real estate agent with Prestige Properties here in New Jersey. Uh, my job is to bring content like this to viewers like you. Many people call me routinely looking for information on the market, be it by email, by text, by uh, Calendly link. I've had some of those as well. Feel free to reach out if you have any needs or any questions on any of the content or you're just looking to make some kind of move in New Jersey, buy, sell, even rent. So as I mentioned, today we are in North Bergen. I'm at the very eastern edge of Braddock Park. You can see the sign behind me for the park. If I pan around, you're gonna get a very, very nice view, although I can see it a little bit better here live than you can see on video, but that is Midtown Manhattan directly across the Hudson, which is behind me. All right, so panning back around, uh, there'll be some street footage that you'll see of the park. There is a local little carnival here right now uh, for the fall season. Uh, we'll have a little bit more footage to show of uh, the general park area. As I mentioned before, it is large, so we will not cover the entire park, just some sections, some scenes. Uh, directly behind me, this uh, direction over here, 79th Street is going to be our first stop in terms of our property views today. So North Bergen is a township that is very much residential and suburban in feel. You're going to see street footage that shows that. Uh, it is reflective of Weehawken, if you've seen my Weehawken episode, and to a degree, Bayonne somewhere. All right. Uh, School-wise, just to jump into the big three, schools, I'm going to start there because niche.com school rating is a C. And of course, if you 
been viewing me for some time, you know that I reserve a check for some type of A rating, be it A plus, A or A minus. This is a C, so I'm not gonna give a check there. However, proximity to the city, we've already seen it. We're directly across the Hudson. Uh, so you imagine getting to the uh, Lincoln Tunnel from here is probably about maybe a 20 minute drive to get over to the Lincoln. Um, with um, train situation, the light rail does have its last stop. The Hudson County light rail last stop is here in North Bergen at uh, Tonelli, the Tonelli station. Also with buses, mass transit, it is very convenient. That is a check all the way. Even though there's not a path here, it is a light rail plus buses. It's very convenient to get into the city. Uh, so that's going to be a check. So we have a check for proximity. We're very close. Check for transit with train. There's a light rail. Plus there's a really convenient bus line. So three, not all three check marks, two out of three, pretty good. But what that does mean when you don't see all three check marks, it does reflect in pricing. So you can get better bargains here in North Bergen compared to a wee bargain, all right? Uh, now let's see, it's gonna be on par with Bayonne, uh, depending on the type of property. So we're gonna see a mix, uh, single family, multifamily, and some condos down along the waterfront. Uh, the waterfront does have a drop off. I'm gonna have a quick clip right across the street. Bear with me for a second until I cross. We'll get it started again over when I get over there. Okay, so I've crossed the street and directly behind me, you can see just a pan around just to give you a little better view of the surrounding area. We have a 911 memorial right here. Uh, and we're right along the Hudson, like I mentioned before, but we have a quote here uh, from uh, President George W. Bush, who is Springsteen and Beach of the East Tower, um, replicas, if you will, uh, has the time frame in which the towers, each tower was struck at 1, 9, 3 a.m. Sandy Doll here. And uh, 8.46 a.m. quote from uh, President Barack Obama here. I wanted to come over to this side to give a little bit of a reference as to the landscape in North Bergen and for Hudson County in general. We have a significant elevation above sea level as where we are right now. If you've seen my, um, both the heights for Jersey City and Union City, you see that there's an elevation uh, of the more central part of Union County than the waterfront. The waterfront drops down to pretty much about seven feet above sea level. Uh, and where we are, I mean, we're very much elevated from sea level, probably 50 plus, 50 to 70 feet at least. Uh, so when we get to the waterfront section, we're gonna be down towards that area, not far from where we filmed uh, the Weehawken segment where we were at uh, Port Imperial. Uh, so this is just given a little bit of context again, how the county is situated, how North Bergen, with us being up on the cliff up here, down a little bit, see them. All right, so we get a little bit of a drill out of here. I'm hoping that rain holds off enough so that we can get the property back. So I'll see you at the first stop. Enjoy the park footage in the meantime. We are at our first stop, only a few blocks from the park. We're on 79th Street. It leads directly into Braddock Park. Directly behind me is JFK. A few blocks down is Bergen Line Ave that traverses through North Bergen all the way into West New York and Union City. The entire stretch, which we're talking about a couple miles. Uh, I wouldn't even try and give you the exact, but. Uh, full retail. If you're into Latino food, um, other types of products and services, that entire stretch has all that you could ask for. 
This particular property is 1179th Street. I'm gonna pan around just a little so you get a feel for the neighborhood. As I described before, this is an urban setting, but really more of a suburban feel. Uh, you can see there's a median uh, on 79th Street separating the road, gives it a little bit more of that kind of residential flavor. Um, property sizes, uh, in terms of lot sizes, are not very big, it's relatively densely populated so you're going to find homes that are closer together but these are as you can see this one is brick these uh many are right around that world war ii of that pre-world war ii construction very solidly built uh for this particular property the list price was 729 sold at 730 was 50 days on the market but this was unique in that it is as you can probably tell uh, if you didn't see the lower level is the dentist office Upstairs is a three bedroom, one bath unit. Uh, that unit renting just shy of 2,400. Uh, the rental for the uh, dentist office wasn't disclosed, but um, sure that it is, uh, you know, generating income comparable, probably higher. All right, so this is a, a income generating property that likely was an investor, someone looking to hold property uh, for an invest investment purposes. There is a two-car garage. If you walk down the block just a little, so that you can kind of get a sight line. There is a garage that I'm not sure. Let's take a walk down. I'm not sure if it's a legitimate two-car or if it's more one. But again, just take a look at the profile of the building. And yeah, so this really is a oversized one and i guess you could loosely describe it as uh as two this uh garage was advertised to be rented at 236 a month so great opportunity for someone looking to hold property in many cases uh you find someone looking for a 1031 exchange and if you're not familiar with that that's more uh in the investor world but uh if um someone who holds and owns investment property, sells that property. They have an opportunity to reinvest the proceeds into another property without paying any type of taxes, all right? So you could basically go sell one investment property, put it directly into another and continue to hold it from there, all right? So uh, that is certainly uh, a lot of activities that take place here in Hudson County. There's a lot of investment property opportunity here. All right, so this is, again, first stop. We are going to take a trip a little further south and uh, almost towards the central of North Bergen before we hit the waterfront, which is gonna be our luxury scene in terms of condo. So I'll see you there. We're at our second stop here in North Bergen. This is 4813 Meadowview directly behind me. This is a single family. It's basically a ranch dwelling, um, has garage also. Uh, one unique thing about sections of North Bergen, uh, and you can't see it on this stretch of road that we're on right now because we're on a side street that kind of is oriented north-south, but east-west, along the western edge of North Bergen, you find some of the most steep roads that you'll find anywhere in the country. It probably rivals San Francisco uh, with like your Lombardi Street. The difference being, San Francisco it doesn't snow. So you can imagine like a, what a snowy day looks like and you have almost a you know, 60 degree pitch downward uh, uh, on a road. It can be a bit of a challenge, uh, but that's something unique to uh, North Bergen. Uh, this particular property, four bedroom, two bath, uh, list price. Uh, list price, let me just give a quick check on that to have it correct. List price, 479 and it sold at 500 21 days on the market, so it didn't last that long. Uh, we are, uh, in terms of transit, only about maybe five to six blocks down from um, Tonelli, where we have the light rail. So if it was a walk, I would say the walk is gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll throw up a quick map of the walk to the light rail from this location. 
So location wise is ideal in terms of someone who needs to be close to transit, uh, but nonetheless gives you an opportunity to own uh, a single family dwelling uh, in this area. So pan around just a little, you see a lot of the dwellings are similar, kind of ranch style. Um, and you have some others, uh, as you get further down the road, you'll find some larger ones, even some that are probably two family. Uh, so we'll continue down the road. We're going to take a look at a two family, same road, just a few blocks down. I'll see you there. Our next stop here is at 5200 Meadowview Ave. This one is a two family and I'm gonna pan around just a little. For one, as I pan, this one you get a little bit of a feel. What I mean that there's, if you can see, there's a bit of a incline, decline uh, to the road, but nothing severe here. Uh, directly behind me across the street, you can see that there are four new construction uh, multifamily units. So these, it seems as though they have carport and maybe even garage. Yes, yes, so it's garage as well as a driveway, which in this area is a luxury and in Hudson County in general, it's a luxury. So 5200 directly behind me, this is five bed bedroom, four full baths. So the first level, three bedroom, two full baths at the uh, ground floor level, which is, you know, you think basement, but probably is just a uh, living area behind the garage here, has a full bath as well. So that lower level probably has three bedroom, three full bath, and then upstairs, the second level is two bedroom, one full bath. List price was basically 700K, uh, 699999 uh, sold at 790. Seven days on the market, didn't take very long for it to sell. So uh, this is uh, this entire stretch. Most of the homes have a similar layout. So my guess would be that they are very likely uh, two family properties as well, which affords you the opportunity to offset that mortgage cost, uh, which is always a positive. I uh, did not mention early, but I wanna make sure I mention now, please do click like subscribe and notification bell uh, to stay in tune with the new content that we have coming up and your likes and subscriptions help to get the word out uh, for anybody who lives here in Jersey or is thinking about moving to New Jersey. They will know about New Jersey living. So I appreciate your support with that. So we have one final stop. Now we're heading to the waterfront where we're going to look at uh, a, one of the luxury condo developments where uh, those folks who want to have that Manhattan skyline view and the proximity to just take a shuttle down to the ferry at Port Imperial and be directly in the city provides you with those type of uh, amenities. So we're headed that way. I'll see you there. So we're at our final stop for our North Bergen tour. We are off of River Road down directly by the waterfront. Although you can't tell from here, there are multiple developments as you can, as I pan around, as you can see right here on this little stretch of River Road, the watermark has three units that have sold within the past 30 days. So here's a quick rundown on those three. First unit is unit 908, and that was the actual square footage, 908 square feet. Uh, this was listed at listed and sold at 548,000. HOAs, 711,000. It's gonna be typical of the properties that you find up and down River Road, right along the waterfront. Many of them include a lot of your either utilities or amenities. In this case, you have garage parking, which is just behind me, behind this uh, beautiful landscaping right here, is garage. So water, hot water, and gas all included. So utility is only electric that you pay here uh, for this particular building. So all that is incorporated in that 7-Eleven free shuttle shuttle also so there's a circle you can't quite make it out there's a circle back here towards the main entrance uh that shuttle takes you down to uh port imperial where the ferry is directly over into manhattan so from here probably only about a 10 minute drive maybe at best uh from this location to get down uh to uh, port imperial so that's unit number one next unit and do note, the first unit was a one bedroom, one bath. Second unit, unit number is 905. This unit is over 1,500 square feet, two bedroom, two full bath, and list price was 779, sold at 735, 
And at this particular time frame, it took about three and a half months for the sale. It was uh, over 100 days on the market. So in this case, obviously, the amount of time that it sat on market gave some leverage for the buyer to negotiate a little. So that gives you an idea of what escalation there is from your one bed under 1,000 to a two bed, two bath that is over 1,500. Final details on the uh, third sale coming up now. Third unit we have, unit number 718, three bed, two and a half bath, HOA's 1350, 1800 plus square feet, was listed at 1.2, oh, I'm sorry, 1. Uh, yeah, 1.2, sold at 1.17. Uh, so this gives you, again, the, just a the general feel of what price points look like based on square footage, number of bedrooms and baths. So this will conclude our North Bergen episode. I want to thank everyone again for your support, for watching and viewing. Please do, again, click, like, subscribe, and notification bell. Stay updated on all of our upcoming content. We still have more places to visit. All right, so take care. I'll see you in the next episode.